Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video, the first video of 2020. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Lime SDR Mini. Now this has been kindly sent to me by Crowd Supply so that I could check it out and see what it's capable of. So at first glance it may just look like any other SDR receiver which has two antenna ports. However, when we start looking into the specifications, we can easily see that this SDR receiver is actually a transceiver. Now the Lime SDR Mini can also transmit and not only transmit, it's also full duplex. Now what does this mean? Well, it means that it can receive and transmit at the same time, courtesy of having a dedicated receive antenna port and a dedicated transmitter port. Now the frequency range is stated in the specs of between 10 megahertz and up to 3.5 gigahertz. But after some further into web research, we can see others have actually managed to receive lower than 10 megahertz. It also has an impressive 30.72 megahertz bandwidth, which means when using your SDR software, you're going to see a pretty large chunk of the spectrum. Now the board itself, it's pretty tiny. As you can see here on this slide, it's only 69 millimeters long and 31.4 millimeters wide and only weighing around 20 grams. Now I know you may be asking about the RF power output. Well, it's difficult to be precise because it varies depending on what frequency you're transmitting on. To give you a ballpark figure, you're looking at around 20 milliwatts at 437 megahertz. Now going up or down in frequency most likely provide different results. Now, where would you most likely want to use the Lime SDR to take advantage of its unique features? Well, some common applications would be using it as a standard RF scanner between 10 megs and 3.5 gigs. You could also use it for SSB narrow band uplink transmit onto Oscar 100, which would be 2.4 gigs. You could also use it for transmitting digital amateur television up to the Oscar 100 satellite, again on 2.4 gigs. You could also use it as part of a radar system, use it for radio astronomy, use it as an Internet of Things gateway, IoT, and obviously you could just use it as a standard ham radio transceiver and even used as part of a test gear for measuring results of various different types of tests. So let's take a look at some of the software which supports the Lime SDR Mini. So the first piece of software that we're just going to quickly look at here is SDR Console version 3. Now SDR Console version 3 allows the Mini to be used in full duplex mode. That means that you can receive and transmit at the same time on different frequencies. It also has some great Oscar 100 features and it also supports all voice modes when you're using the Lime Mini for receive and for transmit. Now the other piece of software which supports the Lime SDR Mini is SDR Angel. This runs on Windows and also on Linux. It can be configured to receive, it can also be configured to transmit. It also has a digital amateur television decoder, an ATV encoder and an SSB encoder as well as all the other voice modes as well. As you can see here in the picture, I'm actually using it to decode some TV. Now another great piece of software is DATTV Express. Now this is actually a piece of software which runs on Windows and it connects directly to your Lime SDR Mini and it allows it to become a DAT transmitter. Now that TV Express supports various different symbol rates and it also supports a few different codecs. You can even plug a webcam into your computer and actually use that TV Express to transmit live footage. The other piece of software which is quite cool and is supported is something called BATC Ports Down. Now this is the British Amateur Television Club and it supports down software and it allows you to create or build a DAT TV transmitter based on a Raspberry Pi. Now this is really easy to use, you can plug a webcam into it, you can even use a Pi cam as well and it also supports EasyCap which is a video interface to allow you to put in your own video directly via a composite input. I'll show you more about ports down in a later video. So let's just go ahead and plug a couple of antennas in. I'm going to plug one antenna for transmit and one antenna for receive. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start up SCR console and I'm going to tune it to a local repeater and I'm going to talk through it. And hopefully what we'll be able to see is the receive working at the same time. So here we have SDR console running. On the left hand side of the screen you can see a frequency there 433.225. That's a repeater output GB3TU over here in the UK. Uh, so what we have is one antenna connected to the RX port of the Lime SDR and that's tuned to 433.225. We then have another antenna connected for the transmit side and if you look over on the right hand side of the screen that's our TX panel. This is where we can set our transmit 
rate frequency. We can also apply some gain and processor to our audio. We can even enable a CTCSS. We can choose a CTCSS tone that we can send, especially if you wanna work through repeaters. Now the next audio that you're about to hear will be the Lime SDR receive audio while it's transmitting at the same time. One, two, three. So all that was was me talking through a USB microphone into SDR console that was transmitting it out and then SDR console was also receiving it using the Lime SDR and then it was playing me saying one, two, three. So let's take a look at Lime SDR Mini working in conjunction with a Raspberry Pi with the BATC Ports Down Transmitter software. So the screen that you can see here, this is actually a touch screen, which makes it really easy to use once you've got it installed. You can go through and you can choose the type of modulation, the symbol rate, uh, the transmit power and, and everything you need to make a DATV transmission. As you can see here, we have the Lime SDR Mini plugged into a USB power bank. That's obviously powering the Raspberry Pi as well, purely because you just need that bit of extra current. Now, as soon as I press TX, you start to see a transmission appear. Now I'm using SDR Angel here, and I'm just using an AirSpy Mini to receive uh, on 437 megahertz. Now, without going into too much detail about this, what we're looking for here on the constellation is four nice covered dots. And there we go, you can actually now see the live video <laughs> coming from the DATV transmitter from Portsdown. Now I've got a webcam just on top of the monitor that I'm looking at now, and that's plugged directly into the Raspberry Pi. Now the antenna that I'm using on top of the Lime SDR at the moment, is actually just one of the uh, dual band antennas that I've taken off of one of my handheld radios. So because I'm transmitting on 437 megahertz, uh, the antenna is perfectly capable of coping with that frequency. So if you're going to do this and you choose a frequency, just make sure that you choose an antenna, plug an antenna on that's tuned for the band that you're transmitting on. And of course, you only can do this if you're a licensed ham radio operator. So there we go, guys. That's an overview of the Lime SDR Mini. I think it's a fantastic piece of kit. In fact, I'm going to be using this as a main exciter for a QO100 narrowband uplink transmitter at some point in the future. I just need to organize a few more bits and pieces before I can start transmitting. Now we'll go on to make some further videos about the Ports Down transmitter. I think it's a really interesting project. And guess what? It's really easy to set up. All you need is a Raspberry Pi 3 and a Lime SDR. And that's it. Well, apart from the USB power brick. And that is basically it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, take care. And I'll see you then.